Praise God, people. I want to pray with you and I want to pray for you. We are going to cry out to God and I believe and I know that he will hear us. I have no doubt about that. So in this, we're going to start with a scripture. We're going to have um, four prayer points, four prayer points. Then I'm going to lead you into a salvation prayer for those that don't know Christ and want to become a Christian. Um, I encourage you to like and subscribe below, comments below. Leave some comments, leave your prayer requests as well, because what we want to do is pray together. We want to pray together um, with your prayer requests, with my prayer requests, and we're going to join our faith together, and we're going to pray unto God, and we're going to believe God to do something in our lives. That's what we're going to do. Let's start with a scripture. Um, now, the Bible is full of scriptures, but we're going we're gonna to read... Psalms 23. It's a well-known scripture, well, well-known amongst Christians, um, and you may have heard it before. Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. There's even songs made about it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, key um, prayer points I want us to focus on, because this is an interactive, this is something we're going to do together. We're going to pray and cry out to God and believe God for these prayer points and anything else that's on your heart. But okay. Now, world leaders. We're in a time of lockdown, pandemic, COVID-19, and our leaders, our governments have to make key decisions. And we're just praying that they're supported, praying for God to to, to instruct and give them instruction and knowledge, you know, just to help them. Even with sleep, you know, and rest and stress. You know, we even had, I mean, I'm from the UK, we had our Prime Minister and he was in hospital. He was 50-50, you know, having to receive oxygen. You know, so it affects young, old, the big, the small, rich and poor. It, it discriminates against nobody. So we're going to pray for our leaders. We're going to pray for frontline staff, nurses and doctors, giving their all, and some are dying on the front line. So we're going to pray for them. We're also going to pray for public service workers, you know, people who do um, public transport, bus drivers, train drivers, those kind of things. Things which, you know, keep things moving. And then, you know, they, they still have to go to work. They can't work from home. So we're going to pray for those as well. We're going to pray for those who are currently sick, with the virus, COVID-19, coronavirus, we're going to pray for their swift and speedy recovery, full recovery. And you may have family members, you know, friends, you know, people that you know who may come into this category, this list. We're going to pray for God's healing and deliverance, that they will make a full recovery. And we're also going to pray for those bereaved families, because in all this, a lot of lives have been lost and there are bereaved families across the globe mourning the death of their loved ones. So let's start. Let's pray. Now, I've got my trusted timer here because with me, and maybe the same for yourself, once I get going, I can continue for half an hour. And this, this video can't be half an hour and an hour of praying. I've set this to 10 minutes. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins. As we forgive those that have sinned against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I worship you. I praise your name. I glorify you. You are excellent. You are almighty. You are magnificent. Oh God, there is nothing that you do not know. There is nothing too hard for you, Lord God. It was you that formed the heavens and the earth, Lord God. The Bible says the earth was without form, without void. You said, let there be light, and there was light, Lord God. And you planted the first humans on this planet, Adam. And you formed Eve from the rib of Adam. And he said, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. I shall call her woman, Lord God, and I praise you for that day. I praise you, Lord God, for salvation. I praise you, Lord God, for the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on Calvary's cross. I thank you for life. I thank you for our families, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for our parents, our siblings, our family, extended family. Thank you, Lord God, for our jobs. Thank you, Lord God, for life. You are worthy of all praise. Worthy of all praise. Yes, you are, Lord God. And words can't express. Sometimes I feel... Many a times I feel inadequate, Lord God, with the words that I use just to give you praise. My limited vocabulary, Lord God, is not enough to give you praise and worship your holy name. Oh God, but with my limited words and with our limited words, for those that are listening to this video with our limited words of praise, we lift our hands and say, thank you, Lord God for preserving our lives, preserving the lives of our loved ones, our families, Lord God, and bringing salvation to our homes. We just thank you, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for world leaders, governments across the globe that have to make these decisions of lockdown and and. And all the other logistical things to, to bring PPE to the front line, to hospitals, to, to care for the sick, uh, to operate the ventilators, to preserve life. While they do this, Lord God, they are putting their lives at risk. At grave risk, Lord God. For those of us in the, in the community that, that catch COVID-19, some of us, may be receiving a small dose. This is what they're saying, a small dose. But in the hospital, I believe there is concentrated virus in the atmosphere. And these nurses and these doctors and those that are there are at grave risk, higher risk. And we're praying for their preservation. We're praying for their protection, Lord God. We're praying, Lord God, that they will return to their families, that the sacrifice that they made will not be in vain. Oh God, we are praying for their life. I'm praying, Lord God, for those who have caught the virus, COVID-19, all across this globe, in the United Kingdom, in America, in the other continents, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australasia, North America, South America, Lord God, I'm praying for their full recovery in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for immune systems to be boosted, super duper boosted, Lord God, to fight off this virus and all its other strains. In the mighty name 
of Jesus Christ. I believe, I expect, I know, Lord God, that you hear our prayer. And as we join our prayers together, my prayer and those who are listening to this, this video, Lord God, as we join our prayers together, I believe that you will move and you are moving because we as Christians are united church without walls, united praying <coughs> that you, Lord God, will move Move on our behalf and remove this plague from our land in the name of Jesus. And we will know, Lord God, that it is you. Many will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord. We are also conscious, Lord God, that many have lost their lives. Have died to this, this virus, this, this pandemic. And we remember the, the, the families, Lord, affected, left behind, the bereaved, mourning, Lord God, the loss of a father, the loss of a mother, the loss of a brother or a sister. An aunt, an uncle, a grandfather, a grandmother, a, oh God, an uncle and an aunt. We pray, Lord God, that you will bear them up, encourage their hearts. Encourage their spirits, Lord God. Give them strength. Inner strength, Lord God, to carry on and continue. That even in these times, Lord God, of bereavement and mourning, <coughs> you will give them strength, supernatural strength. Supernatural strength, Lord God, to continue and carry on. And we know, Lord God, that you will bring us through this. This pandemic, COVID-19, you'll bring us through it. <clears throat> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We look up to you, Lord God. We look up to you, knowing our frailties. Knowing, Lord God, that we are just humans, Lord God. We haven't got all the answers. We are Nothing in your sight. We are just, oh God, like the grass that, that fades, withers. Oh God, but we know that you are able and we look up to you, Lord God. That you will hear our prayer. That you will save life. You will go into those hospitals, Lord God. Protect the nurses and the doctors. And revive and Heal those that are on their beds with COVID-19. And for those that are mourning, Lord God, our hearts go out to them in the mighty name of Jesus. That you'll bear them up. Each and every day you'll bear them up in your precious, mighty name. The name of Jesus Christ. At this time, I just want to lead those who don't know Christ into what I call the salvation prayer. For those that want to recommit to Jesus, you also can repeat this prayer. This prayer is not a prayer from a book, but this prayer is something which we as Christians have said, millions of us have said it. It just has to have the same ingredients and it basically has to say, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And then we ask God for forgiveness of our sin and to come into our hearts. And that is basically the crux of the prayer. So repeat after me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lord God. I recognize that I am a sinner. Lord God, I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart, sincerely with my heart, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord God, I pray that you will forgive me of my sins, wash them as white as snow, 
with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now this is day one of your Christian journey. The churches are locked at the moment, but there's resources. I'll have to source some resources on the internet. I encourage you to, to, to start reading your Bible. If you don't own one, then you might have to go on Amazon and, and, and buy one. Start reading the book of Mark. It's the shortest gospel. There's four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And these were disciples that went around with Jesus and they gave their account of what they saw, what they heard and what Jesus taught them. Mark is the, the shorter of the four it's a good start. You've got the Old and the New Testament. But as you grow, you'll learn. God will show you. He will reveal himself to you as you read his word, as you spend time with him. Just like you spend time with family members and friends. That's how you get to know them. It's the same with God. As you spend time with him, he will reveal himself and you'll know more and more and more of him. And you'll feel more comfortable. Even in praying, your praying will develop. Your worship will develop. Your praise will develop. I encourage you now, for those that have given their hearts to Jesus, just go and tell someone. When I gave my heart to the Lord, I was, I was encouraged. Go and tell someone. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go and tell someone that you've just given your heart to the Lord. Also, I want you to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be putting more videos on where we can pray together. Music videos, me playing saxophone, but also prayer videos, I want you to like and subscribe, I want you to leave comments, but more importantly, I want you to leave your prayer requests, and we're going to bring them together to God, we're going to bring them together to God, and eventually, when I've got enough prayer requests, I'm going to have a prayer basket, and your prayers will be in that basket, and we're going to pray for those, and I'm not going to take them out to the, out of the basket until you tell me that God has answered your prayer. And then we're not going to pray anymore. Yeah, for that request. Unless you say, Dave, continue praying. But that's where I want this channel to go. I want it to go in a way where we become a family. Where we join our hands together and pray unto God and believe God. For changing our life. Changing the lives of our family. Real change. Thank you for listening and I'll meet you again in another prayer session. God bless. Have a blessed day. Amen.